Oh, but it was power here with the review of the Commodore Zero and DX Thousand Jacker. This is the main primary weapon for Commodore Thousand himself. And as you can see right here, the Thousand Jacker is presented. There's Thousand right there. Here's him on the side. I forgot here they for some reason moved the like information they would typically have for like what company he's under to up here. I guess they really want to present this. I was a counter thousand Zaya Enterprise thousand Jacker. Oh, never mind. It's on this side. Um, so Zaya Enterprise and such. And there's that. Um, the back essentially showing everything and more CGI models of Thouser with the thousand Jacker because these two images are exactly the same. Here is extended. Uh, is there any other pictures? I think there's only like three pictures. That's at least better, but uh, my medals are falling, so let's just get on with this. So here's the thousand jacker taken out of its package. And it's a really interesting weapon for sure. I think it's supposed to be a lance weapon of some kind, which is interesting because I don't have a lance. <laughs> or I I do technically, but not like one that's like a spear. So I just find it really interesting overall. And I, I really like the color scheme of this thing overall. Like I just like the color scheme of this thing because it's like remin reminiscent, reminiscent of the Caucasus and not the Thousand Driver because the Thousand Driver was just like a bunch of like silver and such just to like compare like it barely had any gold it only had like gold at the front and such other than that it's just like silver and such so like i think this is like a really nice shake up and i think it just fits a lot better for thousand and obviously we got this purple gem right here or i assume it's supposed to be a gem and um you know you got this um part right here which is like supposed to be like the guard uh mine came bent <laughs> despite getting it new so yeah and this part is also um pretty um pliable too obviously because it is a tip um here's the same gem here just in black and this is where the speaker is going to be on well, the back is pretty plain but that's to be expected. The handle is actually pretty nice of it, to be honest. Like, it, it actually fits my entire hand. And I, I really like that. And here's the bottom portion, which you're able to twist it just like the beat closer. And obviously, you're able to pull it for its gimmick. And then just to let it go, press the trigger. Which the trigger has, like, essentially, like, you can press it for... Like, basically, it's, like, clicky, but then when this is out, like, then it's, like, I don't know how to describe buttons. Um, as you can see here from the chamber, um, my setup, it's, you're not going to be able to see it, but as you can see, when I, like, pull the bottom, you see this purple coming in. And then when I press the button, it shoots back in. So, I really like that emulation of, like, you know... Like, you know, seeping power out. Because that's the entire gimmick. Obviously, this is the progress key slot. And, yeah. Um, that's essentially it for the Thousand Jacker. Um, simply pull the pull tab out. Because this thing doesn't have an on and off switch. Um, it's just ran by cell batteries. Thousand Jacker! And just like most Ultraman stuff, it actually announces itself. So, that's appreciative. Because Ryder... And Sentai don't really do that. So, um, you just get one singular slashing sound. That's pretty much it. And then, um, when you pull this out, um, again, this is not going to capture well, but... So you get this standby and then it'll announce Jack Rise and then just press the trigger. Jack 
Maya Enterprise. So there you get the first uh, attack for the Thousand Jacker, the Jacking Break, which I think this is one where he just steals the powers. I don't know. Again, I haven't seen Zero One up to Thousand's debut, so, but um, so yeah, I'm. What I assume is so basically he just sticks this up to whatever source he wants and then pulls it out and then he just uses that ability and such. Next up we got progress key compatibility, which you just simply slot here. However, in show technically he activates the second uh phrase within this. Amazing horror. And so after you do that, insert it. So you get the same standby as um, pulling this out and press the trigger. So there you get hack and break. I'm not really sure what that one is supposed to be. I don't know if it actually utilizes the ability of the progress key, but nah. Uh, take out the progress key, just press this down and pull it out. And there's the, you know, taking out the progress key sound. I don't know why it cuts off. I don't know if that's supposed to happen. Or if that's just a thing for mine. Again, I got mine new. And I don't know why it cuts off like that. However, we do have one more finisher to um, take. So, insert the progress key again. And pull this out. So we get this new entire standby and just simply press the button. And there we get the um, thousand break, which is pretty impressive. <laughs> and I really like how each finisher ends off with Zaya Enterprise, because it's like you just finished watching an infomercial, because that's how in your face Zaya wants to be. <laughs> um, after that, uh, if you press the trigger again, you're just stuck with hacking break. Which I kind of wish that wasn't the case. I wish like you were still able to do like do that and such. And I guess another thing I should show is just you know what if you wanted to do this. So you can do it both ways and such, and then you can do stuff like this. So yeah, um, yeah. Other than that, that's that's really it for the thousand jacker or for the thousand jacker. Obviously, it's not an attached weapon, so it doesn't have that kind of stuff. And it, if you couldn't tell already, uh, this thing does not uh activate anything within the progress keys. This does not say Caucasus ability. What not, this is literally similar to the authorized buster where it just knows that you inserted a progress key. So, um, despite all of that, I think this is like a really fun weapon overall. Um, just because, like, while it doesn't really do much by itself, I think for what the show built the weapon up to be, I think it, like, it's essentially more of like, it's to your own imagination kind of deal. Because, um, again, this is from someone who hasn't watched the entirety of Zero One. But, like, I know that, like, essentially, like, he jacks the powers of progress keys and such. So, while, like, 
you know, you can pretend that you can ha that you have like the powers of flaming tiger, but there's not going to be any sounds associated with it. It would have been nice if that was the case, but obviously that would have been expensive and such. But I I think the imagination kind of like is like fun. <laughs> Because it's like, you know, you can be like, oh yeah, look, I'm I'm pretending I can, like, I have the abilities of, like, throwing fire or ice or whatever. <laughs> and then you can just pretend that you're jacking people's powers and such. But other than that, it's just like, this weapon is like a huge pass. Um, because it just doesn't, you know, it doesn't activate anything within the pro rise case themselves. I just think, personally, like, it, it has a lot of neat sounds. And it's really the only other Thouser thing that's available because for some reason Bandai thought that selling these two things was going to be good enough. So, um, I recommend it overall if you're a diehard Thouser fan. Other than that, it's a huge pass. And if you are planning on getting it, please get it for a cheap price. Um, because for a while, the reason why I didn't get this thing initially was because it was sold for like 25 to like $30, and it's like, that's not worth it. Excuse me. Alright. Uh. It wasn't until recently that this thing finally dropped in price, and I was able to get it new for $18. However, because the majority of the stores off of Mandarake dropped the price on this, people are buying it up, and I only found two that were for like $20, which I will say, get this for at least $20. Uh, I think that's how much I got the next one at. <sighs> but please don't get this for more, or if you're not like that much of a completionist, then skip out on it. Oh. Uh, but yeah, uh, that's essentially it for this review. So this is Power Order, and I'll leave you people. Bye.